What is going on, beautiful people? It's Jacob here playing more Vault Stage 2. And today we're playing more Wraith gameplay. And so, it, my previous games, um, a lot of people were saying not to sleep on abduction. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna we're gonna put our point into abduction, warp blast, and then honestly, like I feel like you need two points into supernova at stage one. Otherwise, you are just going to struggle versus the hunters. I was going one in my couple of videos, like I um or I in my couple of games I've tried going one point into everything, but you just really need two points in to supernova because the duration increase. You, your supernova is your main damage ability regardless, right? Um, but I'm going to go hunter, fly swatter, and then... Gr what is this? Ferocious bloodlust. Oh, it's just like hung hunger, but a bit stronger, I think. Um, but the reason why I don't like abduction, um, one, it takes away points from some of your other abilities. So again, I like, I rather have a point into, you need two points into supernova, I think stage one, it's kind of a necessity, whether you go abduction or decoy and you need one point to warp blast. So that's already three points. So whether that point goes to decoy or abduction is kind of, um, up to you, but I, I prefer in phantom cause it does a pretty good amount of damage and it works well with your supernova. I'm pretty sure also applies some of your poison ticks too from, the perks that I'm running. Um, and I, I don't personally like abduction. I feel like it's a little bit easy to dodge. Um, it's pretty, people can stand in front of you. There's a lot of shielding in this game too that negates the massive damage that it does. And in terms of like catching people as they're running away, I just rather space bar on top of them instead of spending the next five seconds through the animation of abduction while I'm getting lasered by the assault. But I mean, it does have its uses. I mean, the ability does do a lot of damage, but I don't know. It's it's not my, my not my favorite ability to run. Like I said, it, it kind of draws points away from decoy. And I, I like decoy a lot because having a point in abduction, I, I, I tried going one and everything, but I just was lacking so much damage that I was just dying way too quickly without actually killing anything. And everybody, I was looking at health bars and I was like, man, everybody's still full health. So this game, we're going to go ahead and run two, superno two points into Supernova and just skip, skip decoy altogether. Uh, and honestly, maybe maybe this is better. Maybe I have been sleeping on abduction and decoy is not even that worth it. But we're going to, I think stage two, the plan is to put a point into um, decoy. And then I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put points into Warp Blast outside of that. Just to, just to try out a different build that I haven't really played before. I think Warp Blast, um, getting points into Warp Blast can be pretty good because it has a relatively low cooldown and it does a good amount of damage. Anyways, we're, we're gonna go ahead and bounce on out of here. Usually go for this one mob right here. Eat this up. And as we're running away from the hunters, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, comment, subscribe. And I've been streaming a little bit recently. Um, I played Inside the Backrooms the other day with some of my friends. It was a ton of fun. And you get, uh, if you have time, come check uh, come check out the streams. I was just streaming right here on YouTube. So if you see me streaming, come come drop in, say hi, what's up? I wish I had a more, I, I, I just realized, I wish I had a more set streaming schedule where I could tell you, oh, I'll be streaming from this time to this time, but Honestly, I, I don't, I, oh, I just hit shift half again. Um, I don't really have the luxury in my schedule to just say, oh, I'll be streaming from this time to this time on these days. My schedule is pretty randomized. Uh, it can be, it's a little bit difficult to get in some, a good stream, set of streaming time. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. I kind of want to crouch back this way. Because they usually like to cut me off in this, um, in the cave. So maybe I can space bar away this way. Yeah. So in that cave, you there's only like one main exit that you can actually take, right? And so a lot of the times what hunters will do is they'll go... Hunters doing that will go to that exit to... 
um, to block you off right away. But if you come back out the other way, like I just did, you can you can have a pretty good time in evading the hunters and getting a lot more distance. I feel I they're probably still back at the cave. Honestly, we're gonna come back up this way. And I might get staged because of that one play. I might get stage two before any contact. Oh no! Not if this guy's just running from me, please, good sir. And we're gonna—I'm gonna evolve right here because I'm pretty confident that they're a good distance away from me. I spent a lot of that time space barring away from that direction, so I'm gonna go ahead and put max out supernova now. Put a point into Phantom and then start maxing out Warp Blast just to change things up. Usually, I've, and I'm gonna eat this for armor, but this guy is pretty far away from his team, so we're gonna just go on straight on him. And nice little abduction hit, Warp Blast, and I this guy should be dead here. Pretty keeping up my um, Supernova damage, and there we go. This guy is separated from his team, so again, yeah. And see that again? That's that's what I don't like. And we're we're not gonna let this guy come up like that. That'd be way too easy. And we're gonna go on this guy because he's already pretty low. Honestly, I'm I'm liking the idea of going on the killing this. Um. Oh, whoops. Nah, we're gonna just run. That was a mistake. I if I'm if I if I use my um space bars there a little bit better, I would have killed the assault too. But I messed up on kind of my um space bar usage, so therefore you cannot kill the assault. Oh, a little perk right here. Don't mind if I do, good sir. Be 80% faster. We'll take it. And we'll go, we'll go up into the caves here. And so again, I think I think that kind of showed right there um, one of the one of the weaknesses of uh, abduction I was talking about earlier, which was getting block having it blocked by an assault that's defense matrix, because the hitbox on it is pretty wide. So if you just stand in like the general vicinity of somebody, like it, it's kind of hard to pinpoint which person to hit. And honestly, that just might be a me problem. Like I'm not I'm not the greatest player, so maybe maybe some of you guys out there that are more talented than I can hit land that without fear. And we're gonna try to get out of here. I might not be able to quite leave, but ah uh, yeah, and that's okay. I'm I'm fine I'm fine fighting here. Um, I'm gonna look for this to destroy my this thing. And I want I want to go on the medic here. And hit him with abduction as they're trying to run. But And right here. Now the medic's in a pretty tough spot getting trapped into the corner and there's the medic down. And the assault is looking pretty low. He's going to open up with supernova and he's pretty low. Medic's dead, so he might not get any healing. Uh, harpoons are so... Uh, oh, please! Alright. No! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna come run this way. I didn't lose that much health, that's alright. So we're, we're in a pretty good spot. <laughs> and so, again, the showcasing at why abduction can't... Is it the most amazing ability? Especially in those sight situations, it can be pretty difficult to... Um, land the abduction when they're walking around corners, but that's okay. Again, <laughs> oh, let's me fall down. I want to eat these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go on the assault here. Why not? And then we're gonna run on out of here after poking him down a little bit. Maybe make him have to chill out for a second.
Nah, we're, I was I was thinking about fighting it, but I'm, I don't have as much shield as I'd like to have. Um, and I think I think I've talked about this idea before of taking fights when um, you the hunters don't have any or the dome is on cooldown, and the reason for that is it charges up your evolutions, and you can you can leave the fight whenever you want. So it's kind of beneficial in both aspects like that. Taking this evolution. I, I I always go for such greedy evolution locations. Monster uh, well, the medic over here is quite low. So... Let's go ahead and hop on over here. Destroying that. Warp Blast here. Little abduction. Boom. And one more hit should kill him off. And we're gonna pop force this guy to use defense matrix, and then we're gonna go on somebody else, like my boy over here, little abduction while he's right here. And super finish him off with supernova. Now the assault used Oh whoops. Assault used his defense matrix already, so I should be able to kill him here and then we're gonna go ahead and hop on out of here because I want to get to stage three. Might as well since I have it up already. I don't see a good reason not to go into it. I'm gonna just evolve right here because they're gonna be spending some time waiting for people in the dropship, rezzing some people. And I'm gonna upgrade Warp Blast and then We'll we'll put we'll we'll put the second point into abduction for the for the sake of the build. Why not? Anyways, we're gonna max out our shield here and we're gonna straight for the power relay. Relay shield activate. Oh, and these two are caught out right here. So might as well catch them on their way over to the power relay. Nice little abduction grab there. And we should be able to kill the assault here, even through defense matrix. I'm just gonna stay on him, cause it should, yeah, it, it came off cooldown. I'm gonna destroy the shield barrier thing, and that take, that's him gone. Gonna go for the guy that has two strikes already, and one abduction should kill him off. And I'm gonna just kill this guy next, cause he's right here. Actually, we'll go on the medic. I don't. I don't want the medic rezzing anybody. Huge abduction. That was a pretty. I don't want the. I don't want them to res the assault here. The medic. Medic should be pretty close to dead here. Oh no! I did. I. I should not let this guy res, but that's okay. We're gonna pop my decoy, warp blast, and that should be him dead. Lennox coming in. I think, and then after I hit the abduction here and then one more hit, and that's the end of his life. I don't know. Tell me guys what you guys think in the comments. Abduction, not the worst ability in the game. I'm just a big fan of getting points into decoy. So let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.